What's up everybody? It's me and today I will be doing a more educational speed paint for you guys. Today I will be talking about Marcus Linnaeus Crassus. Marcus Crassus was known as the richest man in Rome, like ever. He was so rich. And he was also a Roman general and a politician. He also helped in the founding of the Roman Empire. When Crassus was young, he saw his father commit suicide, at a, and so he decided, at a very young age, to move to Spain. When he was there, he sided with Sulla against Marius and helped Sulla conquer Italy. Once this victory was over, he settled down, had a family, cheated on his wife. What? He had two sons, one of which was named after him. Then there came Spartacus and the slave Ar Crassus hated Spartacus. He thought he was a thorn in Rome's heel that he was supposed to remove. So he gathered an army and decided to face Spartacus. In 71 BC, however, he unsuccessfully cornered Spartacus and unfortunately because of his lieutenant, they, disregarding his orders, they lost. So after they fled, Crassus did the only sane thing and employed the ancient punishment of decimation on 500 man section of, ma of his lieutenant's forces, where one out of 10 of his legions were killed by their fellow, their fellow army soldiers, and they were killed in front of the entire army. Now with eight legions at his disposal, Crassus cornered Spartacus and finally defeated the slave army, crucified 6,000 of the survivors, and somehow the honor went to his rival, Pompey. Pompey collected the slaves who had escaped from the battle and killed those survivors. And it was Pompey who was given the honor of a triumph in recognition of his other military successes, while Crassus was given the lesser ovation. Dipping into his cash, though, Crassus won the favor by hosting a large round of lavish celebratory feasts for the people of Rome. And in response to Pompey's popular title of Great, Crassus would ask dismissively, Why? How big is he? Settling their differences, though, Pompey and Crassus pressured pressurized the Senate and were made councils in 70 BC, an opportunity Crassus had made full use of to further increase his wealth and influence. The two teamed up and decided to overrun Rome's political structure and expelling 64 senators. Politically though, Crassus again lost ground to Pompey following the latter strengths of military victories notably his spectacular eradication of the Mid Mediterranean pirate. In censor in 65 BC, Crassus' two most significant policies of granting citizenship to Gaul and a Egypt both failed as he was forced to resign from the position. According to Suetonius in his biography of Caesar and a lost work by Cicero, Crassus had actually planned in 65 BC in collision with Caesar, Sulla, and Artronius to make himself dictator by purging the Senate of oppo opposition. But the conspirators implacably lost their nerve at the last moment. The story is rejected as a fiction by most modern scholars. Crassus continued to pull strings behind people's backs until his death in, one, in 53 BC. Thank you for watching my video. If you want, you can go down in the description and watch some more videos from me. Because I'll post more videos. And then you can watch them and like them. And it will make me happy. Yay! Just finishing up this speed paint. Hope you guys liked it. Hope it was informational. Hope you learned something new. I learned a lot new. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye! That voice though.